Hi everybody, this is Theoral. Uh, you can find me on the Marvel Champions Discord answering rules questions or doing the Card Text podcast with Bob and Scott where we explore various rules intricacies um, or here on YouTube doing the Marvel Champions games uh, every Tuesday and Thursday. At least managed it so far. So um, I've done a Marvel Champions playthrough kind of progression style and you can find some videos about that. You can find some what if videos I've put together. Uh, today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do some homebrew content. Um, it's uh, the Fin Fang Foom scenario, which I've always found a little bit interesting, um, having read about it from uh, from Nugget. I forgot his name. So, um, anyways, this is a well liked homebrew scenario for Marvel Champions and. I just figured we'd take a little bit of a break from my various Marvel Champions tweaks to do something completely different. Why not? Um, so we've got the Fin Fang Foom scenario. I'm going ahead and running it with collateral damage as per the recommended set um, in expert difficulty. I haven't actually looked at this much. Um, I, you know, I've glanced over it. I know the essence of how this scenario works, but I have not actually played the scenario before. So this will be an exciting chance to do that um so i'm not really super familiar with the cards so hopefully i'm not making terrible choices here but i'm gonna run ironheart uh because ironheart's fun and she's pretty versatile i'm gonna run justice because i haven't played justice in like forever uh so i figured i'd do a justice deck that way i can do one way or another and get her progress counters um so this is just kind of a basic pull out side schemes, clear the side schemes, get bonuses for clearing side schemes, get progress, play good allies, have a little bit of resources, and that's it. So, all right, let's see how this goes. So got all that, this goes in here. I'm, I am admittedly counting on this, on <laughs> having like a normal amount of stuff going on. All right. So we've got some photon beams. We've got ingenuity, which is awesome. Um, and sonic rifle also, which is great. So I think I'm just going to stick with that and I'm going to just chump these two photon beams and see if I can get something better. Like photon blasters. That's cool. Um, unfortunately, I cannot play all of these cards. So that means I'm not playing a Sonic Rifle. All right, we're gonna spend that mental resource to play, th no, you know what, I'm gonna just hold it. Um, yeah, that's fine. So we'll spend two for Ingenuity. Ingenuity is gonna generate our mental resource for progress. We're going to flip to hero form. And now we'll, yeah, we'll hold photon blasters. We don't need photon blasters. We're going to play a sonic rifle. And we'll use the sonic rifle to confuse Fin Fang Foom. All right, so my understanding is Fin Fang Foom um, is the one that activates. He gets more powerful as, he, as the Foom cards are defeated because when a Foom card is defeated, it goes face down under Fin Fang Foom. We also get some bonuses from that. You want to deal some damage to him. Um, but the trick is that there's not a lot of great ways to deal damage to him. So um, I guess I could do damage to this one. That just does damage back to me. So this, this version retaliates. Uh, each one of these heals every turn. Oh, I'm sorry. So after step one of the villain phase, I'm going to heal one damage from each Foom card. And then he gets a threat for each damage not healed. So he's healing three. Um, but if any of them are undamaged, then he gets threat instead. He gets 11 threat as his maximum, so that's not too bad. We're going to punch this one, take a damage. We'll just let that heal up a bit as we go. So, all right, let's see what we can do. 
So one and then two there and one there. And then Fin Fang Foom attacks me for three plus a boost. Um, I'm going to defend this because that's what Ironheart's best at. So that's four damage. I take one. I get a single encounter card. It's gang up. He attacks me again. Three, but he gets a side scheme where he puts me in his pants. Uh, <laughs> Fang Boom is putting you in his pants because that's the thing that he does. His big purple pants. Uh, when the villain phase begins, the first player must choose to either discard an upgrade or support they control or confuse their identity and take two damage. Ouch. Um, well, that messes with my initial plan of doing one way or another because I don't think I have enough to do all of this. Choose an attachment, non-elite minion, or non-permanent side scheme. So um, we don't have any of those. I mean, I can blank this. And then it won't go off. Um, oh, am I resource short? Man. I am a resource short. Okay. That's fine. Oh. Uh, that is a trick, isn't it? Vivian. All right, Vivian, you are going to thwart for two. And we're going to kill the side scheme. I don't know. Maybe we won't kill the side scheme. Now, nah, we're going to work on the main scheme. Uh, and we're just going to hope for the best here. I'm going to flip to Alter Ego, spend this for a progress counter, and I'm just sad that I don't have better progress counters to do. But I need a real hand. So. We can at least do some work next turn. All right, one threat. Uh, and then it gets one, two extra threat. He was confused, so he does not activate. I get a single encounter card. Acid Mist. An alter ego. Place X plus two threat, where X is equal to the number of face down cards under Fin Fang Foom. So zero, that's just two threat. Okay. I think we can handle that. Uh, let's see. We want to play Skilled Investigator. We would like to play Tony Stark AI. We're going to play Multitasking. Oh, shoot. That's too many things. Too many things to do. Okay, well, when I play Multitasking, I'll clear that and thwart that. That draws me one card to replace it. Two cards place Tony Stark AI, which draws me one card. And then one, two plays Photon Blaster. So that's it. That's my whole turn. Um, I cannot get a progress. Not if I'm going to do anything useful. All right. I'm going to do two damage and take. A single indirect damage. All right. Vivian was gone already. So we're going to ingenuity for multitasking. Two threat, two threat. That's defeated. Skill investigator, I draw a card. Okay. Moon girl, huh? Well, that's worth something. Um,. Alright. Bye, Photon Blasters. It was nice to think that I might play you one day. Who needs hit points and useful things? Two for Tony Stark AI. Tony Stark AI looks at the top two cards of my deck. 
I have one of those two cards in my hand and discard the other. It really doesn't matter. I'm not playing Ronnie. Because I'm going to play these Propulsion Jets and then we'll go ahead and deal two damage to him because that's worth two threat. And remove one threat from the main scheme, I think. And we'll just burn our last counter to confuse the villain again. Alrighty. Oh, I finally got a weapon. <laughs> no, it's a photon beam. Where is her thwart card? At least I finally got a stroke of genius. That's something. My goodness, this game is not working for me. Alright. Fin Fang Foom attacks me. Moon Girl defends. And she takes a bit of damage. Like a single encounter card. Back that scrapes the sun. Attached to Fin Fang Foom. Neck. Okay. Well, that's annoying, but I'm not going after his neck yet, because I can't fly. Tony Stark. What do we got, Tony? Finally got a flyover. <laughs> My goodness. Propulsion Jets. Removes the threat. Exhaust Ironheart. Remove a threat. Spend one, two... Fly over. Um, after I spend this card, I get a progress. I draw a card. Fly over removes three threat from the scheme. One, two, three. Uh, two progress if this thwart removes the last threat from that scheme. All right. Well, I'm sadly a resource short of doing that. I could play new and improved. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually. Uh, or I could play Photon Beam. You know, Photon Beams may be good enough. We'll just get some work done here. I don't know, it's a hard 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 choices um, I mean I would love to play Braun but I don't have four resources and there's no way I'm gonna get four resources here uh, I guess next turn I will have four resources maybe I just play Braun next turn all right we're gonna photon beam we'll do four damage give him back a threat um, gain a counter uh, gain another counter for Noon and Brew, for Stroke of Genius, and draw a card. Sure, okay, so we spend six, and we advance to stage two, and ready. Ready and swap. And actually, we'll just go ahead and do this. We exhaust, and spend two, kill back the scrapes of the sun because we don't want to take two indirect damage every time I attack the neck all right five card hand finally guess getting somewhere one two those two will heal fin fin foom attacks me I'm gonna defend and I take one point of damage. Get an encounter card. It's advance. Fin Fang Foom is no longer confused. Okay, cool. Propulsion Jets knocks two threat off the main scheme. No problem. Tony Stark AI gets me a nice fancy double resource or new and improved. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I think I could really use a double resource, potentially, more than new and improved. So we're just gonna go with that. Two, four, Champion's Mobile Bunker, which draws us two cards and then discards two cards. Um, I like that, actually. Nope. Like that, maybe. Yeah. Because, you know, who needs allies when you're... Ironheart. Alright, we've got Sense of Justice. Sense of Justice and Ingenuity plays Flyover. Flyover removes three threat, which is just one, but it gives us two counters. And then having removed the last threat, I can turn the tide. And we're just gonna hit that neck for three. Just keeping threat under control while we build. I think though, I'm gonna go alter ego because he can scheme for a little bit, that's fine. I really need him not to punch me <laughs> twice because I have no allies because that's not how I do things. All right, six cards. Hopefully we can heal up some. One, two, heals each of his things. He schemes for one, two, three. Yeah, I think I can one way or another pretty safely in this, um, as long as I have the cards for it. So I get an encounter card. He got his purple pants, attached to the legs. After legs is attacked, heal two damage from it. That's interesting. I think I'll probably just kill the legs anyways. Ah, shadow of the past. That's four threat. And she gets a tough status. That's not really that big of a problem. I can handle this. Don't need Stark AI is gonna look at the top two cards. I definitely want a double resource more than I want Wasp for this turn. I need to recover for sure. I should have two extra hit points because of this propulsion jets. Those are always important. Yep. We're going to go hero form. I'm going to one way or another. I just trust that he has another one in here. All right, cool. Discard cards from the encounter deck until you discard a heroic deed obligation. Uh, what do those look like? Force response. After step one of the villain phase, you take one indirect damage for each collapse counter here. Okay. Those are kind of cool. Uh, what else we got? Each monster minion gains guard and quick strike. Four threat. Hmm. Okay, I don't really have threat removal. But two schemes with four threat. No, I think I want this one that only has two threat. Or maybe I want the one that has three threat. Yeah, let's go with the three threat scheme. That'll be fine. No, no, I didn't mind. Two threat, two threat's good. It's not a three threat scheme, it's a four threat scheme. Okay, it is gonna cycle this though. All right, we're going for a heroic deed. We got a heroic deed. Oh, it's the blasting building. It's the one I read. It has two collapse counters. All right, now I draw three cards because I played one way or another. 
Oh, good, we got flyover. Uh, is that quite the one I wanted? But that's fine. So I don't need a double resource for that. I can use these two to fly over. Oh, I should have gotten an extra counter. Oh, well. Hmm, hold on. Let me think about this. I have no ways of thwarting little bits. Which is super annoying. I think we're going to do this. Let's see if I can get a card. Oh, okay. Resources are good. I like resources. We're going to kill new and improved. And we're going to kill the second one way or another. I don't think I'm going to play two of those. I think it's max one per round anyways. Okay, that's great. We're going to spend Stroke of Genius and Sense of Justice to play Flyover. We're going to thwart the one that I know I can thwart. So that's now defeated. Um, I gain one progress for playing Stroke of Genius. And then I gain two progress for thwarting everything from that scheme. And then I draw a card for Stroke of Genius, and I draw a card for Skilled Investigator. All right, I have Propulsion Jets. Um, so that'll thwart plenty. Really could have used a multitasking here. Multitasking would have been very useful. But I don't have it right now. Okay, we spent two for Photon Blasters. Photon Blasters pings off her tough. And then um, one, I don't need two Sonic Rifles. Two plays Photon Beam, deals four damage to her, defeating her. Defeating her and gaining me two more progress counters. Um, I take that back real quick. I spend one, two, three, four. Oh no, that's fine. Well, I should have done it the other way. Whatever, whatever. It's fine. I'm just annoyed at myself. I really should have played Braun first. One, two, three, four, for Braun. I gained two hit points because I played Photon Blasters. Actually, you know what? I'm just not gonna use Braun this turn. That's fine. I spend six of these to ready and flip to stage three and gain a tough status. And then I'm just going to go ahead and thwart the main scheme for three. And Propulsion Jets is going to deal three damage to the torso. Um, yep, I didn't get to do that. Okay. I really needed to do that. Okay, if I did that in another order, I could have discarded a card because I could have used Brawn to thwart for two. Um, and that would have saved me one. I discard a card to kill a collapse counter. Okay. Six card hand. Phew. Hey, look, multitasking is a card that I have. Who knew? Um, I. After step one of the villain, okay, so step one of the villain plays one. Those each heal one, actually two, because this has an acceleration icon. And then I take one indirect damage, which has to go on brawn, which we're very sad about. Uh, and then Fin Fang Foom attacks me. I'm tough, so that's fine. I just take three damage to the face. Get one encounter card. It's Monsters Unleashed. 
one, two, three, plus one. Alrighty, well, stroke of genius for multitasking. Remove two threat from this side scheme and two threat from this scheme. Then I draw a card because it's that. I draw a card from that. And I gain a progress counter. Uh, Tony Stark AI, what do you got for me? Yeah, Snow Guard, great. Um, Accept my hair and place two threat on the main scheme, huh? I have to do that. One, two, three. We'll just go ahead and kill this. And then we will sense of justice and multitasking, I guess, for flyover. Knocks off three, two counters. Good stuff. Um, one, two, sure, why not? Three for Moon Girl. Draws me three cards. Because free allies are amazing. Champion's Mobile Bunker draws me two. Hey, it's Sector Scan. And one way or another. Don't need one way or another. Thanks. Uh, that only works when I thwart, though. So that's unfortunate. I needed to play this earlier. Uh, it's fine. We're going to play Ronnie. Actually, we're not going to use Genitide. We're going to use... Photon beam. We're going to play Sector Scan, which is free. Hmm, that's good to know. And then we're going to discard Snow Guard to remove the last counter from here because I don't want to take any more indirect damage. Moon, Moon Girl is going to just get rid of that. There we go. And then our Photon Blasters can deal 3 damage to Foe the Neck. Alrighty. We draw a 6 card hand, which is an extra encounter card. I think we're all set up. Excellent. We can do an improve next turn. And so we got 10 damage we need. That's enough to kill the basically these two um, that's supposed to be the card I got dealt actually when revealed discard the upgrade or support you control with the highest cost ouch um, oh they're all two hmm, that's kind of cool alright so instead he's actually going to get this double boost so that means I can block it with run so I know that's the card I'm gonna get all right we deal fin fang foom a boost oh man we're all gonna get caught off guard he's just getting all our stuff so Bron will block that he takes some damage I can't heal him anyways so <laughs> not much I can do uh yeah and I got caught off guard by the way, this went up by one, and these all also went up by one. Okay, so mass destruction happens. I think I'm going to kill Ronnie. Nope, can't kill Ronnie with that one. Uh, that one's going to kill my champion's mobile bunker, I guess. That ended up being really useful next turn. So many resources. 
All right, that's going to kill Sense of Justice. I take two damage, right? Equal to its cost. Yep. And then I'm caught off guard. That one can kill Ronnie. Over skilled investigator, because I mean, I just don't see myself going all trigger the rest of this game. Got the all annoying thing. Are these one group? Group. There we go. Alrighty. And now it's time to try to win. All right, Tony Stark, what you got for us? Photon beams? Photon beams are great. Nobody needs multitasking. All right, we got two for that. Three for that. Three for that. Um, that actually just worked out great. I don't even need Jimmy's bubble bunker, so we'll go with that. Photon beam. When defeated. Yep. One, two, three, four. The neck is defeated. It goes face down under Fin Fang Foom. And when it's defeated, we draw two cards. And since I defeated it with this, I also get two counters. How cool is that? All right, we're gonna go ahead and punch that for two. One, two, three. Plays Spider-Man, he gets plus two attack. We're gonna exhaust him. He deals four damage to this, that goes face down, under Fim Fang Fum. And when it does so, we can deal two damage to an enemy, which we deal there. Go ahead and spend two for a photon beam. One, two, three, four. Defeat the legs. Now, I'm of the opinion that that force response doesn't fire because he was defeated. Uh, I don't know if the designer intended that to be the case. But. That's the way it should work. Um, and then, oh, we can't fly over. So we're gonna draw two cards. Yeah, I don't think that was a choice when defeated from a scheme. Yep. Okay, well, I can't multitasking that. That's a shame. Photon blasters. One, two, three. And then we'll just go ahead and spend all seven of those for 14. And then Moon Girl is going to punch him. Boom! He's defeated. And then Moon Girl takes consequential damage, you know, because that's what she does. Cool, cool. Well, that's pretty fun. Uh, I agree that's a very interesting scenario with the beating up the parts of him. Um, obviously, there's a lot more interplay that could happen there if you're not playing someone like Ironheart who can just burst down 18 health villain <laughs> in one go. Um, Fourteen plus three, that's seventeen damage, right there. And I hadn't used any of it yet, so that worked out. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Ironheart is fun as always, and um, yeah, this is pretty good homebrew scenario. Uh, feels on par with regular scenarios for sure. Um, I think that Nugget did a great job with this. Um, and that's where we are for now. All right, so um, so yeah, next week I may pick up with some more tweaking stuff. 
Um, I think I'll see if I can do some Galaxy's Most Wanted um, as that whole box um, I would like to make some minor tweaks to. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of my plan. Uh, we'll see if that holds true, if I can get everything. I don't have mock-ups for a bunch of stuff that I would like to do with it. Um, but we'll see if I can get that all fixed up. And yeah, and we'll continue the playthroughs on Tuesdays, um, or the just the kind of playing heroes with full decks and all that. So uh, if you like this video and like the content in general, like and you know, uh, go ahead and subscribe so you can hear about new videos when they come out. Um, and if you you know want to leave a comment, if you want to suggest other things for me to do or to look at, um, please do. And other than that, I will see you guys next time.